Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Maria and we've got Carrie. But don't just sit there, pickles. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Let's go outside. It's a beautiful day. Oh, who wants a shot in Granny Murray's seesaw? Ready? Push. Whee! Woo! That's fantastic. We've got Maria and we've got Carrie. Someone's missing from home today. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, it's Rebecca. Yes, with Mickey John. Hello, dear. Hello, Mickey John. Come on, darlings. Come and see Rebecca. Hello, Come and see Rebecca. Now Rebecca here we'll do something new. Why don't we dress Claude up as a big strong man? Off you go, my darlings. Strong man? You mean like me, Granny Murray? Oh, yes, Mickey John! <laughs> <laughs> so, Granny Murray, what have you got planned for today? Well, I'm taking the children for a walk around the city and then we're all going to get ourselves weighed. Oh, it's a great idea. And it might help the children to understand how heavy things are. It'll make it much easier for them when they get to the big school. Oh, do some of your children not understand about how heavy things are? Well, it can be tricky. Take my Rebecca, for example. She can never work out how she can't lift me up, no matter how hard she tries. But I can lift her right up in the air, no problem. Are you Superman in disguise or something? Ah, uh, not really. But I bet I can lift you up, Granny Murray. No, stop it now, Mickey. Sure, you can't lift me. Oh, come on, let's try anyway. No, no, come no. On. Oh, no, away with you now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, no. Careful. Easy does it. On oh. three, on three. One, two, two three. three. Oh! 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 How did you manage to lift me so easily? Well, the important thing about lifting things is how you lift them. Uh, come and have a look. Oh. <laughs> now, if I want to lift this big cushion, I bend my leg at the knees, grab hold of the cushion, and then push up with my legs. See? Oh, now I see. It's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. Oh, oh you look at Claude. Oh, oh. Uh. Well, you certainly look like a strong man now, Claude. Here you are. Oh, what's this? A balancing butterfly. This looks like fun too. I'll take it to school with me. Thanks, love. Goodbye, Dad. Oh, have fun with Granny Murray. Come on, pumpkin. Now remember, it's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Mickey John? Make sure he goes the right way to work. I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the top. Now splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speak to work! Hurry, hurry, hurry! And hurry, 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 put my tie on! All snazzy and ready to go! Oh! Rebecca's balancing butterfly. <laughs> See so Marjorie door. <laughs> Playtime oh. already, Mickey John. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Rudy, I was just getting ready for today's lesson. <laughs> I'll believe you, thousands wouldn't. I just thought I'd pop in and say hello after taking an order from the canteen. <laughs> hey, did you hear? Why wouldn't the owl sing when it was raining? I don't know. <laughs> because he said he was too wet to woo. <laughs> oh. oh, you'll like this one too. What's the... D <laughs> 
Oh, you have to save that one for later, Rudy. It's nine o'clock. Here comes my class. You better start work. <laughs> oh, I suppose you're right. I'd better get back to work too. Oh, um, could you come back a bit later and give the class a quick chat about weighing things? It's uh, my special project. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey John. I'm going to be really busy at the market today. I'll tell you what, though. I'll have some stuff sent over to help you teach the kids about how much things weigh. Oh, that would be great. See you, Rudy. <laughs> Bye. All the best. Right, now. Can you all get on with some silent reading while I take the register? I wonder if Rebecca's set off on her walk yet. I love to skip in rivers and bingle, rivers and bingle by the sea. I love to skip in rivers and bingle, rivers and bingle. That's funny. Oh, have a lovely day. <laughs> I wish I could be a flag in the wall and see Rebecca at nursery. What's it like at your school, Daddy? Special delivery for a Mickey John! Well, let's see just exactly what Rudy sent over. Oh. 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 Bananas and uh, turnips. Oh, and a coconut. <laughs> all sorts of things. I'll be able to use all of these to teach the children about weighing things. Thanks for bringing them over. Bye. <laughs> we'll do some weighing later, but there's still lots of hard work for me to do at school. Oh, my day is so busy. Oh, oh, oh. With joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach him with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach in. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what with joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want my joy when I go to school in the morning. Can I talk now? Yes, you can talk now, Louis. Great. It's lunchtime. Great. Rudy sent these over. It's a spare set of scales from his stall. Very high tech. Oh, is that one of those scales that talks? Oh, let's try it out. Come on, put it on my desk. Oh, one cabbage, wasn't it, darling? Here. Here's this one here. Fresh this morning. 0.5 kilos. Incredible! Whatever will they think of next? Let's try this coconut. 1.2 kilos. <laughs> brilliant, just brilliant. Oh, this will be very useful later today. Thanks, Louis. No probs, Mickey John. Catch you later. Now, what can I weigh next? <laughs> of course, Rebecca's butterfly. Five grams. Rebecca would love to see this. I wonder what she's doing right now. Then it is there. Here we are, a special weighing machine. Oh, it looks fancy, doesn't it? And it speaks your weight. <laughs> I went on last week and it said, Granny Murray, stop eating pies. <laughs> now, let's get the money out. Here we are. That's us. 16 kilos. 16 kilos? Wow, wait till we tell your dad that one, eh? 
kids get out. Whee! I'm thinking of you, Daddy. I hope you are having fun, my love. Hiya. Oh, Bobby, what brings you here? I've just been showing my friend around the school. He's thinking about sending his son Lawrence here. Ah, a brilliant choice, Bobby. I hope your friend has seen how great the school is. The teachers are incredible, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> we go on trips to museums and we have all the latest technology, all the latest high-tech gadgets to teach the children about weighing things. Here, take a look. Oh, <laughs> wow. So um, how does that work then? Oh, there's nothing to it. You see this coconut? It weighs... 1.2 kilograms. 1.2 kilograms. And uh, this turnip, it weighs... 0.8 0 kilograms. 0.8 kilograms. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, sort of. Although I still don't really understand how much things weigh. Eh? Well, just because these amazing newfangled scales can tell me that this turnip weighs 0 0.8 kilos, what does that mean? Eh? Is it heavy or is it light? Does this turnip weigh the same as three carrots? That sort of thing. I don't know. Call me old-fashioned. Anyway, I'd best be off. Good luck with your class later. Bye. But, but... Oh, I thought these new scales would help the children to understand all about weighing things. But maybe Bobby's right. Mm. Oh, one o'clock. Time for class to start again. Oh, I want to teach the class all about how heavy and light different things are. But I don't know how to now. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray told me she was taking the children for a walk today and they were going to weigh themselves, just for fun. It gave me the idea to teach my class all about weighing things. At nine o'clock, Rudy popped into the class with a joke for me. I told him about my weighing lesson and he said he'd send some stuff over to help me teach the class about weighing things. At ten o'clock, Louis interrupted our silent reading to bring in a big box of fruit and vegetables for my weighing lesson. At 12 o'clock, the children went for their lunch. Louis called by again with Rudy's special talking scales. We had fun listening as we weighed different vegetables. At one o'clock, Bobby popped in to say hello. I showed her the talking scales, but she still didn't understand about weighing things. She said she wanted to know whether things were light or heavy, or whether a cabbage weighed the same as three potatoes. And the talking scales can't show that. Now remember, it's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. Granny Murray said, it's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. That's it. I have to make a different sort of scales where we can see how things balance or are too heavy or too light. Something like a seesaw. The class are waiting for their lesson. It's a race. Against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song With my new seesaw skill, it's much easier to see what's heavy or light So, are you ready to do some more weighing? Yeah! <laughs> Me too, okay uh, This parsnip and this banana, which is heavier? Yes Banana? Let's see, shall we? Banana. Parsnip. Oh, well, they're about the same, aren't they? Right. Now, a turnip and a lettuce. Now, which one is heavier? Yes. Lettuce? Oh, you think the lettuce is heavier? Well, it's certainly bigger, isn't it? Let's have a look. Right in there, bit of a tight squeeze. A turnip. Oh, the turnip's heavier, even though it's smaller. You see, you only ever really learn about weights when you see them in action. Oh, wow! Look at that! That's a 
actual weighing machine to weigh the lorries. That must weigh about 50 tonnes. That's 20 elephants. Can you imagine? Oh, I bet your dad would love to bring his class to see this, wouldn't he? Oh, here, talking about dad. We'd better get home soon. He'll be here to pick you up, won't he? That's it, keep safe. Come on, you two. Who's here, Rebecca? Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Yes. Oh, you oh. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying it's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. Save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off. Eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a strong man. Then Mickey John lifted me up <laughs> and fell over. That gave Mickey John the idea of teaching his class about weighing things. Then I took the children to weigh ourselves. It was brilliant fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love you, sister.